Somebody on Facebook asked me the question of how did I get started using Erlang and Elixir? And it's actually a really interesting question. So actually what they asked was how did I get started using Elixir? And the answer to that was mostly job. The real interesting question is how did I get started using Erlang? So the story is it was about 2011. I was working at a company in Tel Aviv that did PHP stuff. At least I was doing PHP stuff for them. And I really didn't enjoy PHP at all. I thought it was a lousy language. I'm not going to spend this talking about how much I hate PHP. That's old topic's been discussed. And I went looking for a better language because I just wanted out of doing PHP. And I looked at Haskell, and I looked at Scala, and I looked at Node.js, I think. I looked at a couple other things. At the time, I was really much, very much of a JavaScript guru. And then I discovered Erlang. And I went, ooh, this has all the features that I've never known that I've always wanted. It had the right process model, it scaled, it was easy to use, the syntax was a little different, but not, but not hard. OTP was very rich, and once you had the hang of it, very powerful, and so on and so forth. It also had a nice mix of, on one hand, academics who were doing, you know, research in universities about how to do cool things like, you know, dialyzer and stuff, property but quick check. And on the other hand, people in the industry, you know, it was built to actually ship products. Um, and I got interested in it, and then I looked around and I realized that I didn't know how to build a web service in it, which was kind of what I did, and still do for that matter, mostly. And so I called Simon St. Lawrence, who was my editor at the time at O'Reilly. Uh, we just published a book on HTML5 apps in JavaScript. Well, it's still out there. It's kind of out of date. And I said, I can't figure out how to build a web service in this, so what if we write a book about it? And he went, great. Obviously, there was more conversation there, but get the picture. And so I built wrote building web applications with Erlang. You can still get it. It's out of date. I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend it anymore. It's um, technology that was current a bunch of years ago, and it's really not what people are do, doing right now. And got interested in Erlang and started working on some startups and various products and so on and so forth. And then I moved over to Elixir at some point, at least in part, because, well, A, a job. Some folks offered me a job that required Elixir, not Erlang. And it just seemed that that's where the interesting parts of the development was happening on the Elixir side, not the Erlang side. So that's how I got involved in the Erlang and Elixir space. It's been very good to me for the most part. Met a lot of great people, you know, ran a podcast, just did a lot of stuff, created this channel. So at any rate, that is how I got involved in Erlang and Elixir. And if you're considering getting involved and would like some help, contact me about a road mapping session.